Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be looking at the optimized PDF tool within Acrobat. Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. It's right over here, so let's take a click on it. And here are our options at the very top. Reduce file size, advanced optimization, optimize our scan pages, and preflight, which we'll be covering today. Let's start out with reduced file size. So as you can imagine, some PDFs you want to compress, make them a bit smaller in file size without compromising on quality. So that's exactly what this tool can do. So you have some, you have some options for retaining compatibility with various versions of Acrobat, which we do want. And we're just going to save it. And so now we've saved our reduced size file. So let's take a look at how big it is. That's a decent amount of savings in size. So similarly, we have more advanced options within the advanced optimization tool. If we want to take control over it ourselves to make it even more, to have even a larger amount of savings with space. As you can see, we have options for images, fonts, transparency, what we can get rid of, discarding data, and cleanup. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Optimize scanned pages. That's basically, this specifies how much quality a scanned page should have, and so it has various options for all the pages, color scheme you should use, whether you should not, you should recognize text, stuff like that. But as I said in the last tutorial, today we're going to be taking a bit of a deeper dive into preflight. I touched on it in my last video on PDF standards. But let's really take a look at it. So this is the pre-flight menu. Pre-flight in the sense pilots pre-flighting their planes. They have a pre-flight checklist that they have to look at. So, and we can think of it like that for our print production. Like if we want to take this document and prepare it, what must we do? What are the steps we have to do to make it ready for our standards? So there's a lot of various options over here. At the very top, it's set to PDF standards. We can make it into Acrobat profiles, and this will just change the, the things that show up under the profiles tab. Still has some of these options over here for conversion to PDFX. Now notice you have two options. You can either analyze or analyze and fix. And not all options will have the analyze and fix option. But for most options, pretty much all options, you can analyze and you can get a report of either it passing or if it's failing, why is it failing? So let's just take a look at that for, like last time we did PDFA, I think it was PDFA2B was the default. So we can analyze, and by clicking analyze, that jumps us over to the results tab. So it is not compliant, but if we want it to be compliant, we can then analyze and fix it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of what the pre-flight menu does. It has a lot of things you can check. You can look at the results. And additionally, if those results are not satisfactory, you can change your documents to make them adhere to those standards. And that's about it, really. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time when we tackle print production. Until then, take care, everybody.